Yes? Ronnie, it's me. It's Regina. It's time now. Gina? Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm just on my way out. Rhonda, please. I'm serious. This is Dad's phone call. Dad's going. It'll be over tonight. He's, he's very weak, but he's lucid. He asked me to get a notary, and he wants to see you. Sissy, baby? So does my agent. Cancel your agent, damn it. I'm coming over. I will be there in 10 minutes, and you will get in my car and come to the hospital with me. So within 20 miles of camp these days. And now you pay money for a piece of garbage like that? You know Stacy, she'd rather die than read at a bookstore or a library. And she's gonna waste paper than use is better than new. And it's quicker to get it here than online. Why does she need it though? You have an answer for that, Brigitte? We're halfway through the term. If she may take the stand and speak for herself, I, Stacy Avalon, will not graduate with my major in mass communications unless I pass MassCom 305, Popular Culture 1950 to 2000. Oh my god, it's Professor Sola with an update on the Chicken Nuggets urban legend. It's this link where this zoologist proves it's impossible for fast food chains to grow headless chickens hydroponically. You really are taking popular culture. Stacy is popular culture. To continue, and I won't pass popular culture unless I turn in a research paper. So until then, is genre flicks B? C. D. Movies for me. Oh, this better not mean you're gonna try to get us to watch all the Friday 13th movies back to back, Stace. I'll get the whole thing done over spring break. You won't even know it's happening. You won't even be here, Lisa, because you got that free ride to your hometown for vacation. You really caught some luck. Yeah, I did. With some dude who wants to know you better? You're so kind. No, there's no dude. Uh, it's with Allison, you know, my BFF from high school. The good news is, Allison wants to do all the driving. The bad news is, Allison wants to do all the driving. <laughs> is there an echo out there? <laughs> Oh, Allison's the one who totaled her graduation present on graduation night. Yeah, she's the one, all right. So I'll be doing all the driving there and all the driving back, but only because I really value my life. This Allison must be the worst driver in the whole world. Make it the universe. Why narrow the competition? <laughs> all right, people, time is money. Let's keep going. All right, sweetheart, remember you're a cheerleader. You're being chased. This is all about sexy fear, so that's what I want to see from you. Let's go. I said look sexy and scared. Stick your chest out. Make us want you. Make us want to chase you. Play with your tits a little. Sweetheart, this is meant to look sexy. Look sexy. Come on now. Very nice. Okay, start playing with the knee socks a little. There we go. Okay, lovely. Let's spin around. Very nice. Okay, in that angle, start rolling the top up. I want to see a bit of the under boom. Let's lose the top. What the hell are you doing standing around? I need you to move those spots now. That little Donald D dimwit killed me on time tonight. I am not having you kill me tomorrow with rigging. Look at it this way, Mr. Tsangizi. The way I shot her and with all the wig changes, she looks like four different cheerleaders. Now that's cheerleader chocolate, right? I swear to God, this industry is murder. I am up against every smut site on the net, every little girl with daddy issues and a fucking Instagram account. They are killing me. And this whore, I mean, she has two phrases. She has pay me and she has pay me more. I mean, Jesus Christ, this isn't murder on the rouge. This is meant to be a fun little shoot. Cheerleader chop up. It's not murder on the fucking Nile. Three hours for this. 
Give me a fucking break. I know you're upset. It's okay to be upset. But we have no time left. I'm fine. Remember? That was the deal, little Sissy. I'd see mom to the end, and well, you look after dad. How can you not want to see him? He is the only one that we have left alive. All you've got to do is go down that hospital once in a while. You know, he asks about you. Well, I have my reasons. Yeah? Well, sometimes you've got to bite your lip and move on. One, two, three. Brigitte, Brigitte what's, what's wrong? wrong? The job situation? No luck? Nothing. Not even a listing for an internship anywhere. Lisa, what's wrong with you? You want the whole list? No, I mean, why don't they care about the environment? Don't they want to breathe clean air? Well, of course they do, Brigitte. It's just not something they think about a whole lot. Yeah, honey. Get your head out of the compost or wherever your environmental types keep them. And let it go. <gasps> let it go? Stacy, what am I going to do for work? I graduated in two months, and that's if I can survive that long. Look, Stacy's right. We're all tight for money, but if you get into negativity, it's going to be so much harder to be patient. Yeah, Bridget. Let's face it, not just any and all kinds of jobs are out there. But it could be worse. Like, what if you made it in philosophy? <laughs> Air is more important than philosophy. I'm just saying. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, Stacy. I shouldn't have snapped you. Oh my god, it's Professor Sola with the latest Urban Legends update. The BLT killer is headed straight for Comalu College. The BLT killer? Is that a joke? BLT killer. Maybe you can take me out for free lunch as well. <laughs> you guys seriously haven't heard of this one? BLT stands for Bondage, Lechery and Torture, it says. Anyway, Brigitte, I'm sure something will come along before you get too desperate. What makes you think so? A good omen. I'm gonna be on the cover of Regular Guy this week. Regular Guy? Yeah, Brigitte. You know that local news sheet? Beer, ball games, and bikinis? That's the one. Well, I guess I'm happy for you, Stace. What do you mean, you guess? It's hard to get on the cover of any magazine. It's even worse if you want to be an actress. Stacy, if you had to choose between selling beer and selling clean air... I don't have to choose. Beer is paying me a check for $500 for just that one shoot. Better make a car payment. That'll put an actual job on my resume. Do you guys want me to try and find something for you too? No thanks, Stace. How do I look for a psychology major to be posing for drunken frat boys? Stacy, I hope you didn't have to get your tatas out. I mean, you don't even know if the checks to the clear yet. How are you? How have you been? Huh? How's your career? Oh, my manager. Well, he thinks there's nothing that can be done. You know, like I had three top build starring roles in, in 30 months. Does that not mean anything? Apparently not. Well, he did for a showbiz minute. Maniac manic pictures. <laughs> kind of made some good stuff in their own kind of way. They made a lot of money. Made some real media stars, too. Yeah, and now I'm up against model-turned-actors. Oh, yeah, they can pose, they can look about half-terrified, and they can shriek, but they can't act. Exactly. They're models. The one tall size fits all celebrity. The thing is, they can't really do anything. They're just like their fans, you know? They're on that. You're better than that. They're on that. You are talented. Oh my God, you can act. But the thing is, you're either too good or too convincing, on and on and on. Rhonda, 
You still got your looks. Seriously? What, you mean I... I should model myself? What can I say? You either want in in this industry, or you want out. But I'm an actress, not a model. <laughs> no, no, Rhonda, Rhonda. Look, if you're serious about this whole modeling thing, let me hook you up with a friend of mine, Buddy, yeah? For a shoot. Come on, at least get a portfolio started. I can't afford Buddy. I mean, I can understand if he gives you a cut. Yeah, and you can understand that I rent to pay and phones. I've Wait a minute, did temping. you even say you can even model? I've just been temping. I could really do with some help. Ugh. Well, you've got my resume. Yeah, I've got your resume. But I also got the Two Fairies number. Look, when I was starting out, I was, I was a fit model down the Apparel Mart downtown. I did some local runway shows and... But those photos here, they're, they're obviously more recent. Mm, can I be honest? You look very 90s. And your hair... <sighs> but like I said on the phone, I don't want to be wasting your time. But what you got here... I can't guarantee a thing. Can I be honest with you? Look, Ian, I haven't had an office job in five weeks. Mm. <laughs> it's all very frustrating. But I got six good-looking other girls out there who need a payday. You know how tough this industry is. And I don't want to take on a model and have her out of work. I'd be the one out of work? Yeah. And you could be part of the blame. What blame? Look at your preferences. I don't see a lot of flexibility here. I see restrictions. No new photography. Branding with name designers and stuff. Well, plenty of models don't do nudes, and they get to work with the top designers. And none of them don't. You think every model becomes a supermodel? I know exactly who becomes a supermodel. This is a tough industry, and you are making it tougher. Then I, I should quit. No, 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 no. I don't want you to quit. I want you to grab your career, boy, Dad. I'm ready to give it your all. You, you said you had a, a possible job for me? Yeah. I've got a friend. Peace of Gazy. He's a publisher. Detective Investigations, have you heard of it? I might have seen it on the newsstands. Next to the porno mags. Yeah, it could be. But he needs Femi Fatal next month. He said it was for the cover. And what would I have to do? I'm not sure, but the pay is good. And I'll get your face in the public eye. All right. Will you will you set up the appointment? Great. You start the day after tomorrow. So, thank you, Rhonda. Sorry. Of course. Thanks, Ian. Well, at least you don't have to go naked. And that's what you wanted, right? Right? Right. I'm just checking. Of course. Are you Mr. Savis? Yes, who wants to know? Hi, I'm at Rhonda Bethel. You're the girl uh, looking for the job? Yes, Ian Martell sent me. Ian? Good man. You done crying before? Uh, no, I haven't. So you sent me an amateur. Perfect. Sir. I am a trained model. I know all the fashion lines. Uh. Good for you. Walla! Zach Walla, he's our photographer. Zach meets. Rhonda, Be Rhonda Bettenthal. Hi, Mr. Waller. Hi, Mr. Get her through the paces, Zach. 
need Rainer and makeup as soon as possible to get that country fuckable look that we all need. My name is Rhonda. I don't care. Miss Bethel. You can call me Rhonda. So have you read Detective Investigations? Well, not really. I've seen it on the newsstand. Right. Well, it covers true crime stories and is aimed at a male audience, 35 to 55. And is there anything else that I should know about your... No. The story that we're going to be illustrating today is called Rum Runners of Crystal Bay. It actually took place in Maine a few years ago. But I thought uh, rum running was part of prohibition. Yeah, most people do. But, I mean, there's still people trying to dodge the tax on alcohol. Um, the gang in this story, they moved hundreds of gallons of stuff. So I'm playing like a, like a gun mall. No, you're a girl who threatened to rat out her boyfriend. Yeah, because? Because he was cheating on her. Well, she should have kept better company. Yeah. I suppose you do always want to be careful of the people that you hang out with. So I'm the, like, jilted girlfriend and somebody's the angry gangster? Right. Well, who am I working with? Oh, um, the guy over there in the bar in the black t-shirt. I guess I should like working with him. Well, I hope you think so afterwards. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. That's, that's just, that's Jay Barnes. He's, um, all business. Jay takes care of Jay. That's the kind of guy that I like to work with. Let me show you the dressing room. Clothing is material. This is going to be pretty far open. You don't think it's no. going to look kind of weird? It's a crime magazine, you know? A magazine about criminals. So you want me to wear an open shirt? And I don't know if my bra looks right for this. Have I pissed Ian off somehow? Like, why is he doing this to me? What? I, I don't understand. You won't be wearing a bra. No bra. No bra. <laughs> that is going to look just like really... Incredibly slutty, yes. That is the idea. It is a guy's magazine. You know, a magazine for guys. Now, will you please, for the love of all things holy, just go and put on the piece of material so we can actually get started? Yes? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Ah, finally. Okay, let's get started then, shall we? Miss Benthal, this is Mr. Barnes. Nobody gives a shit. Let's just get going with the shoot, please. Today, people! Okay, Rhonda, you're a sexy country girl in a dive bar in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure you know how to do this. Let's go. Relax, make us want you, lean over the bar a little. Play with your hair. Do something sexy. Do anything sexy. Jay, let's get you in now. Okay, good. Rhonda, relax into him. He's a nice looking guy. He smells nice. Put your butt against his crotch, lean across the bar. All oh, smiles, it's fun. Undo the top. Jay, put your hands on her ass. Very nice. Come on, Rhonda, you're enjoying this. He's a nice guy. All right, grab that bottle. Smash it, let's go. Nice and scared and sexy. Scared and sexy. What are you doing? Relax, Rhonda. You see where he's pointing? That thing is this is not safe. Rhonda, it's fake glass. Just go with it. Stay in it. It's not real. No, it's fake. Well, you didn't hear real glass smashing. 
What, you hit candy glass? It's sugar glass! What, you, or you hit nothing? What, because you're dead? Hey, you know what? You know what, Rhonda? You know what, Rhonda? Get the fuck off my set. My very greatest pleasure. Yeah, fuck you very much. Tell Ian to send a fucking professional next time. If there is, it is a fucking next time! Do you have an appointment? This is how close a broken piece of glass came to this face today. What in the hell? Look, I could have checked in on your message line, but I decided to come here in person like a professional. I think I can make it to OSHA or to the Labour Board before they close. You need to calm down. Do you have any indication that I am not calm? If so, why don't you... Why don't you call the police and I can, uh, I can entertain them with what happened today. You wanted a job. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to get me work with a top designer. Who do you think you are, Katie or Giselle? I tell you who I think I am not. I am not some backwards skank itching to get sliced up by some beefcake moron. I am not one of your mentally defective boo babes with their half-naked photos up on your wall like some sleaze bag. Oh, I cherish your gratitude. You are damn lucky. That piece of gaze is a friend of mine. He was. Huh? What do you mean? I may have uh, put a dent in that relationship. Hi. Veronica! Veronica Reddy, yes. Can I talk to you for a minute, Ian? Yes, if uh, Rhonda will allow it. I don't need your cheap sarcasm. I don't want you. I want girls who want to work. Now get out! <laughs> Is she some kind of comedian or something? <laughs> and you are a waste of life. <laughs> wow, she's so funny. <laughs> Did you talk to Saturn Secrets lingerie yet for me? Oh, yeah. She... Oh, I forgot. I need to move it up. Uh, maybe you can move it up. Uh, it's a great dress, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so nice. Oh. You want it? Well, I'm not even sure how much I'd get for it. Not with a stain. <laughs> what stain? I should have known you wouldn't see the stain, Gina. <laughs> God, you could sell these. Antiques. Antiques? Okay. Maybe that's not quite the right word. Aren't they like collectibles or cult favorites? It's more like icons. If you had to sell things. There is no if about it. You better believe it. I'm, I am broke. Why did you come here, sissy baby? What do you need? Dad really did love you, Rhonda. He loved you more than he loved me. In fact, um, a whole lot more. And that's, that's fine, I guess. But he said something I didn't understand. 
his very last words. Tell Rhonda I didn't mean to hurt her. Why would he say that? You didn't ask him? <laughs> Rhonda, on his deathbed? No. Like, I just really need to know why he said that. There's this little church over on Lexington. We'll go to the 10 a.m. service on Sunday. And, well, you can ask a psychic medium. You all right, darling? You ready? All set? Yes, Mr. Segis. Lovely. Where the fuck is Walla? Show me what you got, baby. Lovely stuff. Try bending forward a little bit. That's it. Brilliant. OK, bend over a little more. Uh, drop that uh, arm, just one of those arms. There we go. Get a nice shot of her cleavage there. Lovely stuff. Try playing with your hair a little bit. Make us want you. We want to be scared. We want to be the ones you're pointing the gun at, OK? What is it, baby? My red panties have gone missing. You're not wearing any? <laughs> yeah. I just bring two to every shoot because I don't know what I'll have to wear. You probably just misplaced them. It's a bit weird. It's a weird world, baby. Look, if it's that big of a deal, don't you worry. Just buy some new ones and I will reimburse you. I hope there isn't a problem here. There's nothing wrong. Hey! I misplace stuff all the time. I'm sure you do too. Great work on the shoot today. I'll tell Ian that you did a fantastic job, so much better than the last tramp that we had. Well, thanks, but really you should... Honey, I said I would tell Ian that you did a good job. Do not make me change my mind. No, sir. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Zach, come here, please. 
model's pants were missing. Oh, that's too bad. And I saw you in the dressing room. Oh, look, Pete, I would never do anything that would jeopardize this job. Okay, do not feed me the shit. I know about your past, all right? That was a long time ago. And it was just one charge, and it was only voyeurism. And that woman knew damn well what she was doing. I don't give a damn. Now, you listen here, you slimy little meekly. I do not care what you do to get your press stud sized dick hard. You do not, you do not do it with the girls in this building. You can't fire me because the model could find her panties. Start looking around. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep you here much longer. I think we have an answer. It's not censorship. Wait, let me see that. Call local police. Do not approach. Very dangerous suspect. You uses a ninja sword and is wanted for questioning in the OLZ murders. Oh my God, look at this. new modeling agency in need of some staff. And it's selling, but without the cars. I think all them young girls need some guidance. Hank, you're about to make dreams come true. For yourself. <laughs> yes? Hi, Miss Bernthal, I'm here for your 1pm call-up. Ah, you must be Donald Keeler. It says online that you do various kinds of work. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got my licence in uh, electrical, uh, carpentry. That's uh, great. Here. I am going to need you to turn the back room into a photography studio. Yeah, so just follow those plans. Sure. Um, do you not need to see my references at all? Uh, I worked yeah, in a perfect, really big Perfect, perfect. Just start to work. And I would like to keep your vendor accounts up to date, so just leave any invoices on my desk. Yes? Hi, Miss Benthol. Zach. Donald, this is Zach. Zach, this is Don. Now, Zach is going to be our in-house photographer, so he's going to need a dark room, so you two may be working together. Hi, Miss Benthol. <clears throat> Do I know you from somewhere, Mr. Keeler? Or can I call you Donald? Yeah, I'm, I'm really a formal kind of guy. Good. Well, you can call me Zach. Right. I don't think we've met. I'm gonna go start work. So, Zach, how's it going? Good, Miss Bendoff. Zach, come on. You can call me Rhonda. Sure, Rhonda. And you and Detective Investigations Magazine? Pete Sangizi can be, um, Difficult to work with. <laughs> Pete Sangizi is a pig. I could, I could see why women would maybe feel that way. Don't go nuts trying to be all polite. He's, he is sickening. I could see why one would think that. What was your problem with him? We had uh, creative differences. I know. 
you're creative and he's, well, he's pretty different from that. I watched you work. You, you really know your craft. Thank you. I can use you here. Are you all set for equipment? Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a few things. Why don't you make a list? Keep it simple, just order what we need to go pro. And who is doing the best deals on set design? Oh, try scene stealers. They give the best offers. Okay, great. And now, what about models? I can work with anyone. I mean, bringing the models. Oh, I, I, I think the, most models are afraid to shake things up. How do they just let themselves get used like that? I would love to rescue some girls from the subhuman scum that they're with now. Well, they want so badly to be models. And they know there's a lot of competition. There is. And we're going to beat that competition. Right? Come in. Hey, Lisa. What's up? Real trouble. They're gonna repo my car. What? You never told us a thing. I kept thinking I could pull it out of the fire with all the tutoring I've been doing. Can't the finance company give you an extension? They said, and I quote, we're not one of your professors. You have to be on time with us. That's way cold. Actually, they've already let it go for four months. Ouch. I guess now's not the time to tell you my good news. Is it dumb enough to make me laugh? You know that ad I saw? New modeling agency. I called and spoke with the boss, this Rhonda Bettenthal. I told her about the cover I was on. Turns out, she is taking new people. She really did used to be a model. She was with Martell's. What's Martell's? Martell's models. You know the Satin Secrets billboard? That model is with Martell's. Ian Martell is only taking personal referrals now, but Rhonda Bettenthal just opened up and she is looking for talent and looks like she might be taking me. Good for you. You're not laughing. I guess it wasn't dumb enough. Come here. What are you doing? I've got my appointment at Bettenthal's tomorrow. You should come with me. Stacy. I'm no model. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. You're a beautiful girl. Celebrate it. I don't like the way that industry treats women. You don't know the first thing about it. You've never been in it. Well, aren't you the poster child? And you don't want to go alone tomorrow? Come with me. OK. <laughs> Ms. Bethel, do you have a minute? Certainly, Don. Oh, I'm not sure I should be saying this. It's about work. Then you should tell me. Look, I hate to speak about people, especially when all I know is rumors, but... Hey, look, Don, I have a lot to do. I have an interview, and I'm going to be seeing... Look, it's about Zach Waller. Yes? Look, I used to work at Comal at college. You left Kamala College? No, no, Zach used to do photography work there. Oh, well, that is great. That means he's got experience outside of the magazine industry. Yeah, but he got in trouble there. They say he was caught spying on the female changing rooms. You mean he's a voyeur? Well, I guess that's what you call it, but... It's supposed to be the reason that he left. Like, that's the rumor. Well, I think it's safe to say that he didn't leave because he graduated. You... You don't want him working here? I was... I just thought, you know, a bunch of young girls coming in. Everybody makes a mistake and everybody deserves a second chance, right? You think so? Sure. Sure, yeah. Um... I just thought I'd... Better let you know. Uh, I mean, who, who, who does that? So you've told me. I'll take care of it. I was just trying to help.
Hi, I'm Hank Spiron. I can tell from your attitude. So, Mr. Spiron, do you want to tell me about yourself? No, no, the short version. I'm the kind of guy I love people. I fry above talking to customers and I love to sell. So my last job was in car sales, but hey, that's not the job for me. It lacks humanity, doesn't it? I mean, why would I want to talk to customers about selling cars when I could talk to real people about selling their careers? Look, I want to be next to Rhonda Bethnal when she builds lives, when she makes dreams come true, when she discovers the next big supermodel. Isn't that what Bethnal Agency is here for? Oh, yes. That... That is exactly what we're here for. I would need you to recruit media and advertising accounts, as well as to do intake with the models. Now, do you think you could handle that? Oh, it's right in line with what I do. Well, I'm going to need you to welcome the girls and to sell them on our in-house photographer and also to, to also pay our professional portfolio fee. Miss Bethnal, I'm going to be too good at this job. I mean, there's the fact that I'm experienced selling to young ladies, and then the fact that these young ladies are already sold on modeling. All I have to do is convince them that your agency is right for them. Really? You are so good at selling cars, and yet you're... Is there anything else you wanted to tell me, Mr. Spiron? Why, no, Miss Bethnal. Nothing at all. Welcome to Betting Fall Agency. Um, Lisa? Stacy? That's us. Great. I'm Hank. Um, wait, wasn't you on the front cover of Uptown Magazine last month? No. Well, you will be soon. The boss is a former model and knows all the right people. We have the best photographer, and they're gonna have you looking better than Angelina Jolie. Jessica Alba? Anyone you can name. How's that? That's great. So, what do you think? Uh... It sounds really good. Let's go meet the boss. Miss Rhonda Bethnal, may I present to you Miss Stacy Avalon and Miss Lisa Crane. Thank you, Hank. Girls, please sit down. Stacy, I hope you brought me a copy of your magazine cover. It's not exactly a magazine, but... Mm. I can see that, but it's impressive. So do you want to be a lingerie model? Sure, I'll do anything. You'll do better if you understand what you're saying. Of course, you'll do, you'll do fashion, so you'll do runway. And for print, you'll do swimwear and lingerie. Absolutely. So what about nude? Well... I guess if it's done in good taste. I'll do my best with that. So, what's your story? Um, I'm a senior at Comulac College, a criminal psychology major. And how does that tie in with modeling? It, it doesn't, um, but I really need the money, so. So, well, we'll need to see if you have what it takes. Stand up, please, Lisa. Uh, Lisa, do what the lady says. Turn around. Slowly. Lisa, you're a very pretty girl, and you have a great skin tone and a lovely figure. Stacy did a good job to bring you here. Do either of you have a portfolio? Uh, just a checking account. No stocks or bonds. I mean, a, a model's portfolio. Miss Bettenthal, we're just getting started. As 
Zach Waller. You're going to need portfolios, headshots, multiple angles, and, well, some body shots. Fortunately, Zach Waller is our photographer. Zach, meet Lisa and Stacy. One of these girls is going to be the next Veronica Reddy. Yes, yes. So today, just do some casual shots just to get started. That sports what you have on is fine. Stacy, that was so exciting. Lisa, you look concerned, honey. Oh, I shouldn't say. If we're working together, then we're in this together. But you can tell me what's on your mind. It feels silly to bring it up, but I never liked beauty contests. I always felt like the models were being exploited in some way. Modeling is a, a really tough business, and people will try to exploit you, and you can't let them. And I won't let them. You've got me to look after you, girl, so... What do you say, Lisa? I say let's find some work. Make a few dollars. <laughs> That's right. You're both beautiful girls, and you've got bright careers ahead. I won't let anybody turn my girls into trophies. <laughs> Benthal Agency. Rhonda, it's Lisa. What's the matter, honey? They just repossessed my car. I've got to get some money fast. Don't you have something for me? Lisa, this is a really short notice. I know, I know, but I need something. Look, I'll do what I have to. Anything. All right, let me make some calls. Will you be at home? Please. I'll find something for you. Yes? Oh, Lisa, I have something for you, but I have to say it's not a top-level job. I'll do it. Where do I need to go? Come down to the agency. I don't have a car. I'll stand Hank. Great. I'll be waiting for him outside. I 
thought you didn't like this kind of modeling. I don't. You have to do what you have to do to well, keep the doors open. Did um, Pete Sangeezy book this one? Hank booked it in, yes. Listen, I've got, a, I've got things on my mind, Zach. Let's just do the shoot. She didn't tell you. Everybody's got recession. I'm the one with repossession. So you're gonna need a ride for a couple of days? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm here to help. Look, I hate to be rude, but right now, I just need to focus on the job. I understand. But you can ha count on Hank. Don't worry, honey. We'll get your car back in no time. I'll stick around. I'll give Lisa um, a lift home. Why don't you Why don't you run along, Hank? I'll give Lisa a lift back to her place. Hey, it's no worries at all. We'll take care of it. Yeah. Why don't you lock up the office and go? Sure. We don't want to be disturbed during the shoot. Rhonda, look at this. Look at this. Yes, it's a, it, it's a costume. It's a pair of rubber bands. Pretty close. Because Zach explained the shoot to you. It's about a stalker who, well, he preys on young women on the beach, and you're the victim, so you wear the costume. I don't want to do this. Listen, Lisa, I know exactly how you feel, but. You called me, remember? You cried help and I responded. And believe me, young lady, finding any modeling job in an afternoon is well, next to impossible. You said you'd get us respectable work. I said I wouldn't let anyone make you a trophy. And I'm doing my best. It just feels wrong. Maybe it is, but if you'd want the job, Lisa, that's fine. Stacy or any one of a hundred other girls will jump at the chance, so you need to make a decision. Yes. Okay, I'll do it. Would you please be the one to set it up? Of course. Are you ready, Lisa? I guess. Zach will explain what we're after here. On set, Lisa. Still 
Waller is a professional. You'll be absolutely fine. I will be here. Good. These are going to be the best shots you've ever seen. Does it have to be so tight? Only if you want to get paid. Are you getting the shot? Zach? Zach? We need to talk about the story. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Where is everybody? Zach? Guys, is anyone there? Rhonda? I don't really feel okay with this. Do you have to keep going? Uh, uh, please, this is too much. It's too tight. Please. Please, can't you stop it now? Please. Please, can you stop? I don't really feel safe. I don't need a car anyway. Who needs a car? Please. What are you doing? Please stop. Help. Help. I can't move. Help. Help. Please. Please stop. Please. Please. Surely that's enough now. Please. Help. Somebody help me.
So when's our next shoot? Did I ask you to come into my office? My mistake, I thought we was all one big happy family. So, which girl's next? You're right. We are one big happy family. And incest is taboo. You think of those girls like your sisters. I, I don't get you. You don't get any of the models. You want fresh meat, hit the clubs. I didn't mean it like that. Of course you didn't, so there is no problem. Right, it's just I'm here to help, and Lisa's a poor girl. Oh, you're all hard. I think that Zach took her home. So why don't you keep your charms in the front office? Right. So, what did you think of Lisa? She's a good model. Was she hot? Was she cute? Was she nice? So, I worked with her for 40 minutes. That's it. What can I tell you? Right. Okay. Right. Hey, Don. So, uh, this is the one that needs to get out before trash pickup? Sure thing. How the junk piles up around here, I'll never know. It's, um, it's kind of heavy, so just be careful. Oh, uh, no, that's all right. It's all packed up. Yeah. More neat around here. Yeah. I like that. Don't you remember? Uh, right, that free ride. Yeah. She could make a ton of money when she gets back if she wants to, you know. I took her to that agency, Betty Falls. They liked her. They loved me. Got me another job at the used car lot. I should take you to Betty Falls. They'd go crazy for you. Stacy, I am not a model. Every girl is a model. You just don't know it yet. And deal with a bunch of phonies? Not this girl. You just have to let them know where you are in the pecking order. Some little snob says, I only do runway. You say, really? I'm pretty sure they have that at Walmart. Some little saint says, I don't do nudity. And you say, good, because your bondage photos are showing us way more than we need to know. I think that's what you say. Anyway, I know you can cash the checks. So you believe this agency's reputable? Of course. I trust Rhonda Bettenthal with my life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to be telling you your business, but I don't want to be calling in the fire department either. Hey, I wasn't thinking. Listen, have you seen anything funny going on around here? What do you mean, funny? What, funny weird or funny haha? -ha? I've been the top car salesman around this city for maybe the last two months straight. The boss lady's got me working as a receptionist. And the way she parades around them girls, like a damn mother hen, it's like she's trying to protect them from me. From me. Yeah, that is funny. Weird and funny. It's funny weird, though, right? I don't know. I spent if they'll try to protect me from the girls as well. What? well? Yeah, she was saying, you know, the girls might get desperate, especially in tough times. So sure, they get paid for the work, but then they might turn around and file suit for sexual harassment. Or even worse, cry rape. So, yeah, she told me to keep my distance from the models. Yeah, she said, keep your distance. I think she's got something very special lined up for these girls. Well, she should do. Yeah, I get you. But it's like she wants us to play it safe. That way nobody gets hurt. Hi. 
Hi, Stacy. Welcome back. Hi, Hank. Good to see you. Well, hello. You must be Bridget Egglesworth. Yeah, hi. I've been lied to. Stacy said you had a model before, but it was always looks and that poise. You're kidding. You're in just the right place. Let's go meet the boss. Stacey Avalon and Miss Brigitte Egglesworth, here to see you. Welcome. Thank you for seeing us on short notice, Miss Bettenthal. Happy to. My friend Brigitte really needs work. Stacey really is a good friend. Not many people in this business would recommend somebody else for the job. Stacy really is wonderful. It's no big sacrifice. This guy I know is trying to make me the next blue wave babe. Oh? I mean, no contracts have been signed yet, but he thinks I have a good chance. So uh, let me get started with Brigitte. Yeah, um, I'll need to make an income. I'm an environmental management major, so. Limited job market? Yeah. And I'll have loans through hay, and I'll need to make some money just to get through the next few weeks. Good modeling jobs are hard to come by. And what I can get for you will all depend on what you're willing to do. Oh, I'll take pretty much anything, as long as it pays the bills. I'll see what I can do. But Brigitte? Miss Benthal? Don't disappoint me. If I get you a job, you better do it. You asked to see me. Yes. So what did you think of Brigitte Egglesworth? Pretty girl. I hope we can find her a job. You have a thing for her? Why, Miss Bettingfall, I... I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, I worked that out. So I think I found a job that Brigitte might really like. If she needs a ride, could you pick her up? Sure. Great. Thanks. Now, I've got a busy day, Hank. If you do me a favor, close my door. Hello? Hey, Brigitte. It's Rhonda Battenthal. Oh, hi. Hey, we found a job that we think you might like. And it's right in line with your major. Cool. Like sporting gear and accessories? Not quite. We found a natural fiber swimwear made from renewable resources and it's environmentally friendly. That's great. Sounds like the sort of thing I'd wear anyway. Doesn't it just? Hank found it. He's quite the guy, right? He really is. <laughs> Definitely. So, are you available now? Would you like me to send Hank? Sure, I can do the job today. <laughs> Brilliant. There's just one problem. I haven't had a lot of time to get the set dressing together. Do you happen to have um, a beach umbrella? I know my neighbor does, and I think she's home. Excellent. Ask if you can borrow the umbrella and also maybe five large beach towels. I'll give it the old college try. Sure. I'll send Hank over. Bye. Hank, can you go and pick up Brigitte? We're going to be starting the shoot as soon as Hank gets back. He's bringing Brigitte. So I guess you like that? Natural fiber catalog I found for you. Very much. And the sample they brought. You did well, Zach. On such little notice, Brigitte, this is truly remarkable. 
Didn't I promise? Here I am. I mean, Bridget, just been having a conversation about being cooperative. Bridget has what it takes to be the next top model. Look, if the three of us weren't already convinced of that fact, then well, we wouldn't be here now. It's six o'clock already. It is. So uh, why don't you shoot off? But what about Bridget? I will need a ride home. I'll get you home, sweetie. Bright and early tomorrow, Hank. Why don't you close up here and, and go? Zach, Brigitte is in her costume. It, it's very comfortable. And it goes with your hair. Yeah, and um, I like that it's environmentally friendly. That is so important. So just walk, turn, and smile where Mr. Wallet directs. And that's a wrap.
Hi, Miss Bettenthal. Stacy Avalon, returning your call. A job has come up, and I doubt you'll be interested, but uh, I thought maybe I should give you the opportunity to pass on it. Why would I do that? Well, Stacy, it's... It's one of those girls in danger poses that I find, well... Look, it's, it's awfully hard for me to say this, but... Um, you mean, like, horror magazine stuff? Yeah, you, you could say that. <sighs> I'm laughing out loud. You have no idea. I'm so into those horror flicks now. But I thought you uh, had, had concerns about your image. Not really. I haven't heard from Blue Wave anyway, and I could really use the cash. Could you come by around 7 o'clock? Quite welcome, indeed. Is it all rigged up? Uh, yeah, it um, was too heavy to move, so I just um, put on some wiring here and I uh, put up a couple of lights. It's looking good. Yeah, I, I didn't know you could rent anything like it. It um, could be a custom job from 20 years ago that they sold off after they finished the film. 20 years ago? Hmm. Possibly. I don't mean to cry, Zach, but uh, after our last session, do you go straight home, or...? Oh, I drove around for a while. I'm not sure where Hank went. You need to know. You need to keep an eye on Hank. I don't want him stalking Brigitte. And I would think that you... would care what I want. I, I really appreciate you giving me this job. No problem. I know that sometimes I don't make the right impression on people. Oh. We're all human, Zach. We're all human, Zach. Sometimes we just gotta clean up house and move on. Go home, Zach. I can't go home now. Because? Because of all the wiring. <clears throat> it's a lot of current. I've handled a lot of current before, Zach. <sighs> well, be careful. Go home, Zach. Go home. So what's the story? Oh. It happened in the summertime, in a town with a state prison. A girl stole all the medication that the townspeople desperately needed. Then there was an epidemic and no time for the law, so they treated her to a kind of personal justice. They caught her and they... Yeah. They took her to trial. They opened up the prison in the dead of the night and they put her in the electric chair. Wow. They fixed the bitch. Yeah. That girl took their lives away. 
So they took hers. Fair's fair. I'm so glad you see it that way. Where's our photographer? I, uh, I gave him the night off. Oh, thank God. I mean... What do you mean? Well, I don't always feel comfortable around Mr. Waller. I understand, Stacy. I'll take the pictures. You go and put the costume on. How do I look? You look marvelous. Let's set up the shot. I know, Rhonda. I'm sorry I can't make it any easier on you. It's okay. Let's just get on with the shoot. I like your attitude. Ready. Really? Oh, yeah. I remember Veronica Reddy. I met her down at Martell's agency. What was she like? Oh, she was quite the hottie. Speaking of which, let's get you in the mood for the shoot. It helps if you can really feel the part, especially if you can't act. You're just a model. You're just a model. And models took my life. Ow! <laughs> just a slut in a business full of sluts. Trash like you taking jobs from women like me. I never stole your job. Liar. You get the job.
<laughs> but Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda is a kind woman. <laughs> Rhonda wants to help. Rhonda took two pathetic wannabe models and gave them jobs. <laughs> Rhonda helped a sex offender. <laughs> Zach Waller. <laughs> he killed them. He killed Lisa. He killed Brigitte. <laughs> he killed them. But Rhonda. 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 Rhonda is a kind woman. Rhonda wants to help. Rhonda took two. Two pathetic wannabe models, and she gave them jobs. She tried to help a sex offender. <laughs> uh, a sex offender? He never said anything. And he couldn't change his ways. No. Zach never did anything. Oh, yes. Yes. Look what Zach Waller did. <laughs> Zach turned him into trophy. And he'll do the same to you, Veronica. Rhonda wouldn't stand for that. She'd help you. She could. Wait. You're not Rhonda. Yes, I'm Rhonda. But you might like me better as Mandy. Mandy? What? Mandy, the maniac. From the Maniac Mansion's movies. Yes, it was her mansion. <laughs> I was in the movie. And all of you sluts just lived in the mansion, but not for long. Because Mandy, she know what to do with those sluts. And Rhonda, well, Rhonda, She's been too nice, haven't I? You were in the Maniac Mansion movies. In them. I was the star, you ignorant little twit. You're so into horror movies yet. You didn't even recognize me. Didn't I tell you about these whores, handyman? Well, I'm giving this whore what she deserves. I'm frying this piece of meat. Star? Yeah. I'll let you. 
You wanna be in the lights? I will light you up. <laughs> What happened? Rhonda went nuts. And she tried to kill Stacy. No way. She was a good lady. It's true, Zach. She tried to electrocute me. She was so good to all of us. Something snapped in her brain. She said... Models were to blame for the downfall of her career. Somehow she blamed Veronica Reddy for that. The Seven Secrets model? Yeah. She killed Lisa and Brigitte too. She said you were the killer. She said you were a sex offender. No way. This can't be happening. Zach. What? Why didn't you help me? I thought there was an electrical problem. I didn't know this was happening. Please, can we get out of here? She was a good lady. She gave me a chance. Anybody else give me a chance? No. Did she set me up? No. Stacy made that up. She lied, that lying little bitch. She killed Rhonda. Left her lying there on the floor. That ain't right. There's another lying little bitch. She took Rhonda's job. Some little bitches just think they can lie and get by on their looks. They shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. 